What's up? What's happening, Facebook man? We are live, or maybe we're not all the way live yet. Uh, it's probably just me and you, my replay viewers. So I just want to say thank you for checking me out on the replay. I do appreciate you guys also. So down in the comments, drop uh, where you're watching from and maybe your favorite emoji. Uh, not only that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and share this to people that you think might could use it. No pain, no gain. Uh, looks like we got a live viewer coming in. So what's going on, Chisa? How you doing, man? We're going to get into it today. I'm talking about no pain, no gain. A lot of us know all too well about this. What's happening, Sandra? Kelsey, I see you checking in. I appreciate you guys. Drop where you're watching from when you come in in the comments. Uh, what's happening, Kimberly? I love to see where everybody is from all around the globe. And we all connect right here on this very live and make it happen. And what's happening, Cuzzo, Eric? Appreciate you for checking in tonight, bro. Uh, Texas in the house. Uh, already, man. I like that. What's happening, Allison? Appreciate you for checking in. But yeah, man, we're going to get right into it, man. No pains, no gains, no pains, no gains. And I know a lot of you probably like, I know exactly where you're headed with this one because it's all too true what's happening, Altenil. Uh, Dallas in the house already represent Triple D. Uh, you, you know how we do. So um, without further ado, man, I hate to procrastinate or wait. So I'm going to get right into it. Like I said, share this with your teams, family, friends, whoever you think could actually use this message because it would be beneficial for them further within their life uh, or maybe right here today. So, man, no pains, no gains, man. First off, I want to say if you are the type of person that's going through something or you're living in a situation that you absolutely do not like or if you have a job that you're in that you absolutely do not like, you owe it to yourself to change that. You owe it to yourself to change that 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 around, your surroundings, your environment. You owe it to yourself. If A lot of people say, man, you know, right now I don't have the means to change my uh, situation. What's going on, Lisa? They say I don't have the means to change my situation. Well, that's when you got to become a strategic planner, man. This is Motivation Monday, so I want you all to be hyped. Let me get some likes and loves flying across the screen. If you plan to take over over this whole week and you're gonna and you set the tone with Monday, drop a one in the comments for me. If you plan to take this whole week and make it yours, drop a one in the comments if you set the tone with Monday because we're gonna keep rocking. Like I said, strategic planning. You have to change it strategically. Not saying that you have to jump out there, uh, jump off the porch blindly and not know where you're headed. It takes strategic planning. It takes you aligning with the right people. It takes you finding those people who have uh, been in the shoes that you are in now. You might have to uh, model in behind them and see exactly how they did it, the blueprint that they used. You know, because some people find it easier to accept their conditions because they assume that uh, where they're headed is failure or will be worse than where they already are. So they assume that they can accept those conditions and they, they choose to live in that comfort zone, that comfort zone in fear that where they're headed or where they could, where they could go could be worse. It could be failure, that fear, that, you know, that, that fear, man, is crazy. And false evidence appearing real, something that they absolutely have no idea that could happen to them. It's something that has been put in those belief systems that are that we're so tied to, our limiting beliefs that keep us from moving further in life, man. It's a lot of that. And people got to understand, in order for you to gain, you have to endure the pain. So if you're afraid of the pain, then you're never going to gain what you're trying to get to. You're never going to get to that destination. And you have to see that. You know, changing is all about pain. What's happening, Camille? What's happening, John? Appreciate you for checking in. Change is all about pain, man. Without pain, you get nothing. Without a little bit of pain, you get nothing. A lot of people are already living in pain right now every day of their lives. A lot of people are already living in the shit right now every day of their lives, but afraid uh, to move forward because they fear that what's ahead is worse than where they already are. You can't be that way because the only thing that's going to result from that is that you're going to continue to live in that pain that you are in. So you have to make a move towards experiencing something. Allow it to happen. Allow it to be a part of your life. Grow from it. Learn from it. Let me get some likes. Let me get some loves. If you're just not checking in, make sure you share. I'll give you a shout out for, check, uh, for sharing it for me. I appreciate you, Ashley, for sharing. You always share. Love you to pieces for that. Um, but like I said, man, it's going to take a little pain for you to be able to get that change that you want. You know, um, a lot of people, they find, like I said, they find that comfortable spot. It's not even really a comfortable spot for them. But the thing about comfort is you find you kind of adapt to that comfort and you don't move forward. You're afraid of failure. You're, you're, you're afraid to be seen in a higher light and then fall off of that pedestal, fall off of that ladder after climbing so high. You can't be that way. You have to step forward. You have to let people see you fail. You have to fail sometimes just so you can bounce back, get up and go stronger, go harder so that you can critique and actually improve that blueprint so that what is built after you is stronger. So remember that, man. There is no change without pain. So if you want the change, you have to understand that you're going to endure some pain. 
It may be the pain of you having to get rid of friends. You may have to uh, step away from, from some, some family members so that you can get your life in order. You may have to cut some things out of your life. You may have to cut alcohol out of your life. You may have to back away from those drugs. You may have to find that help that you need to help you get away from those, from those habits that you have that are taking over your life. Because I'm telling you, the only way that you're going to change is by enduring a little bit of pain. You guys have a wonderful Monday evening, man. And like I said, make this week yours. Make this week yours. Share this with your friends, your teams, anyone you think that might find some value in this. And I appreciate you all for checking in. Remember, plant-based whole food nutrition is always the way. Stay happy, healthy, and humble. Peace.